ask who the people are behind the protection of the number one person in the United States, the answer is the United States Secret Service. This is a federal law enforcement agency under the Department of Homeland Security with the purpose of conducting criminal investigations and protecting American leaders, including their close family members or visiting dignitaries. The Secret Service is also obligated to protect presidential and vice presidential candidates within 120 days of their official registration. When we talk about its history, the Secret Service is one of the oldest federal law enforcement agencies in the United States, established in 1865. Initially, this agency was formed to combat the act of counterfeiting money. It was only after the assassination of President William McKinley in 1901 that the Secret Service's duties were expanded to provide full protection to the President of the United States. If we talk about the primary mission of the Secret Service, there are two main objectives. Protecting national leaders and safeguarding the financial infrastructure and key assets of the United States. Therefore, the Secret Service plays a crucial role in protecting American leaders and visiting world leaders. This includes securing U.S. elections by protecting candidates and ensuring the safety of key facilities and major national events. This protection goes beyond traditional physical security, extending to threats from the air, cyber systems, and even chemical and biological weapons. The Secret Service operates under the philosophy of a mission without failure in carrying out its duties. Even a slight failure and all blame falls on the Secret Service. In the case of the shooting of Donald Trump, the Secret Service faced significant criticism both from Donald Trump's campaign team and from Elon Musk, who demanded the resignation of the head of the Secret Service. How does the Secret Service actually work? The Secret Service provides lifelong protection to the president and their family. This means that even after leaving office, former presidents continue to receive protection unless they decline it. Additionally, if a former president passes away, their spouse and children still receive protection from the Secret Service unless they are remarried. In its operations, the Secret Service uses code names for the President of the United States the First Lady, and other officials. However, it is not the Secret Service that selects these code names, but the White House Communications Agency. Traditionally, all family members' code names start with the same letter. For example, Joe Biden's code name is Celtic, Jill Biden is Capri, and Hunter Biden is Captain. The Secret Service works to protect the president around the clock, 24 hours a day, without any holidays. The work schedule is rigorous, consisting of two weeks of day shifts followed by two weeks of midnight shifts, plus two weeks of training. When at home, agents are always on alert, even overseeing food safety. Similarly, when traveling, Agents are assigned two weeks before the visit to check everything, from the accommodation to the evacuation routes. Agents assigned to physically protect the president accompany them everywhere, even to the restroom. Becoming a part of the Secret Service is not an easy task. Each year, they accept no more than 1% of the tens of thousands of applicants. First, prospective agents must undergo a rigorous recruitment process and thorough background investigation including drug tests, medical diagnoses, and comprehensive polygraph examinations. If successful special agents undergo training at two locations for a total of about nine months, the first stage is the Criminal Investigator Training Program, conducted at the Federal Law Enforcement Training Center in Georgia for three months. The second stage is the Basic Special Agent Training Course held at the Secret Service Academy in Maryland, which lasts for over four months. This program teaches organizational policies and procedures. This program teaches organizational policies and procedures driving skills, firearms proficiency, and emergency medical response. Additionally, there are some aspects of the training that remain confidential for safety reasons. 
After officially becoming Secret Service agents, they are not immediately assigned to protective details or even to be the President's bodyguards. Secret Service Special Agents typically begin their careers as field officers for three to five years. Before being assigned special protection duties, these agents work in office environments, gathering information and investigating potential security threats. Only those with experience and a long tenure are assigned to be close to the president. More than 6,000 people work for the Secret Service, which has about 150 offices in the United States and around the world. Over 1,000 officers are responsible for security at the White House, the official residence of the president, as well as the vice president's residence and other significant buildings. The Secret Service recruits both men and women who train together in a single training camp. Women make up about 25% of the Secret Service. However, only 1 in 10 women end up becoming agents and uniformed officers in the field. The rest are placed in other departments, such as the Drug Enforcement Administration. This is largely due to the demanding workload, making it challenging for female agents to balance family and career. The Secret Service is equipped with an extensive arsenal. Agents and officers are trained with standard shoulder weapons, including the FNP-90 submachine gun, the Heckler & Koch MP5 9mm submachine gun, and the Remington 870 12-gauge shotgun. However, Special Operations Division units are permitted to use various non-standard weapons. All this meticulous preparation comes at a high cost. The Secret Service consistently spends over 750 million US dollars on protective operations, which accounts for nearly half of its budget. Even entry-level professionals in the Secret Service earn an average salary of 50,000 US dollars. The Secret Service has accomplished much good over the years. Perhaps its most notable success in presidential protection occurred in 1981 when Agent Jerry Parr helped save President Ronald Reagan's life after a mentally ill man shot Reagan in the chest. However, the image of the Secret Service often depicted in many films isn't always accurate. Several incidents have tarnished the agency's reputation. For instance, in 2011, a man fired a semi-automatic rifle at the White House. The Secret Service was criticized for failing to secure the building. Then, in 2012, a significant scandal occurred when a 175 agents went to Colombia ahead of President Barack Obama's visit. It was reported that 12 agents brought prostitutes into their hotel rooms. The most recent incident involved the attempted assassination of presidential candidate Donald Trump. While Secret Service agents were praised for their swift and courageous actions in protecting Trump after shots were fired and successfully neutralized the shooter, the agency also faced scrutiny. Questions were raised about how the shooter gained access to a rooftop relatively close to the event, despite the Secret Service's stringent security perimeter. The agency also strictly prohibits any weapons within the secured area of any event. 